St. John in the first reading gave us a three beautiful images which is very familiar with us. Water and blood. Saan yung nakikita yung water and blood? Sa mga images ni Jesus. Sa? Sa divine mercy. No? So when uh, Sister Faustina um as someone to um, draw the image that Jesus wanted her to draw, to be venerated, that image. You know, that was the first time that um, we saw this divine, this, uh, the rays that coming from the heart of Jesus is the water and the blood. <clears throat> and not only that, even the Old Testament, there's also a... Um, uh, an image of the temple. Uh, there's a running water you know, from the temple going to the different parts of um, the valley that gives life. So, makikita mo na itong image nito is a very powerful image that um, when uh, St. Faustina uh, mentioned this, this image, this, um, this vision, uh, it captures precisely about what St. John was talking about here in this letter, in this first letter about the water and the blood. Because the water and the blood is the thing that testifies about the, the sonship of Jesus. And not only the water and the blood, St. John said there's, there's another one. It's the Holy Spirit. So there's the Holy Spirit, the water, and the blood. These three um, identities, these three um, Images it gives um, the the people like the the father is giving a testimony that Jesus is his son and he is the one who gives life to us. So kung bakit itong itong images na ito ay nagpapatunay na si Jesus ang pinagmumulan ng buhay. So and this life that um, he's referring into is is an eternal life no so yung buhay na hindi natatapos lamang sa kamatayan kundi it's a life that that lives forever so totoo lang napakahirap unawain yung tinatawag nating eternal life kasi our mind is um, <clears throat> is being conditioned to something that ends. No? Lahat, wala tayong nakikitang isang bagay na hindi natatapos. And once na meron tayong experience of something that does not end, parang hindi kayang i-comprehend ng ating mind. Kasi we are, uh, we are finite being. So when we are talking about eternal life, hindi kayang isipin ng ating mind yun. Kaya nga, it's very difficult for us to understand yung mga sinasabi ni Jesus until we, you know, um, siguro when we see the reality, the truth of, of God, na in God, <clears throat> there is no space, there is no time, no? It's just being who He is. And ito yung invitation that the Lord is asking us to contemplate. That's why He's asking us to be holy because He wants us to share in this eternal life that Jesus won for us. Kaya lahat ng ginagawa po natin dito na pagpapakabanal, pagpapakabuti, it's all about this, my brothers and sisters, for us to have an eternal life. No? Yun lang, yun lang pinakapunot dulo ng lahat ng ito. For us to have an eternal life. And if you really aspire to have an eternal life. No, it's only Jesus who can give you that. A life with a life with the Father, with a life that is full of joy and peace and serenity and and love. No, yun ang gusto natin. Because there's also another eternal life. But ito yung buhay na puro kapigatian at puro pagdurusa. No? Pero ayun natin yun. Ang gusto natin is yung buhay na sinasabi ng ating Panginoon na a life that is in heaven. So, yung pagpapakasakit natin, yung mga sakripisyo na ginagawa natin dito sa mundong ibabaw, 
they're nothing compared to eternal life. Kaya si St. Paul, lagi niyang sinasabi na my, my sufferings are nothing compared to the, to the life that is waiting for me. Kasi yung mind niya talagang nakafix, not in this world, but to the life eternal. So, and you can only understand that if you understand Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is eternal, no? The Holy Spirit has been there from the very beginning until the end. Hindi katulad ni, ni Jesus in human form na siya ay, he is with the Father and yet nakita natin, pinanganak siya, namatay siya, parang nawala siya. But the Holy Spirit has been there so He will be the one to teach us what it means to live eternally. So aim for that. No? Aim to live um, without end. Because if we have that life, now it would be now we will give up everything. We'll give up everything that we have in this world just to have that eternal life. No, pwede mong iwan yung pinakamahalagang bagay o tao sa buhay mo just to have eternal life. So, yun yung goal natin. So we pray na uh, hindi tayo mag mapagod, hindi tayo ma magsawa. Hindi tayo mag-compromise when it comes to um, journeying no, in, this, in this road to eternal life. Kasi the, the devil, no, yung devil will come to stop you. The devil will put lots of obstacles sa harapan mo, sa dadaan mo, para sabihin niya, huwag kang pumunta doon. No, dito ka lang sa madali. No, dito ka lang sa hindi mahirap. So anything that is hard, Anything that is not easy, anything that sometimes it, it comes with suffering, it's actually, it's the way to eternal life. Because it's a way to purify us. But anything that's pleasurable, madali, doesn't bring you to eternal life. Kaya pag medyo may mga challenges, no? no just accept it. Because the Lord is already purifying you, making you strong and preparing for that eternal life. So let us um, ask the Lord in this Mass, my brothers and sisters, to um, give us strength, courage, and zeal, and passion to keep going, to keep moving forward, to not to surrender. Dahil yung kanyang promise sa atin talagang it's worth it. No, it's worth it. It's it's something that um, hindi mo pwedeng ipagpalit ng kahit anong bagay dito sa mundo. Because the, the life that you'll be receiving eternally is Jesus Himself, ang ating Panginoon. And the good thing with us now, as Catholics, is that itong life na ito na binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon is we already have a foretaste of it. Parang natitikman na natin siya every time that we receive Him in the Holy Eucharist. That when you receive the body and blood of Jesus, no, you're already touching the source of eternal life. Kaya the Holy Eucharist is so sacred because the one who gives you eternal life is coming into your, into your body. Papasok sa yung katawan, nahahawakan mo siya. And he is, he is there very close to you. Kaya napakaswerte po natin na naniniwala tayo na yung misa, Santa Misa, kung saan tinatanggap natin ang Panginoon, is the real presence, the real body and blood of Jesus who gives eternal life. So, napakaswerte po natin, ano, nahawakan natin, natinikman natin, pumapasok sa kalooban natin, yung magbibigay sa atin ng eternal life. That's why when you come to Mass every day, you have the four days of eternal life. So, it just should give us encouragement to just, you know, just to aspire for that. Dahil yun ang gusto ng ating Panginoon, to be with the Father eternally.